Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. Between now and December 16th, if you use this promo code, you will automatically be entered into a drawing where 13 winners will each win one of the Flipside Gaming Masterpiece Collection playmats. See the description below for more details. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and the Legends, and welcome to another edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. Where, as always, we're going to look at all aspects of the secondary market for MTG. However, as you can imagine, one of the big influencers for this week is the release of Ultimate Masters. Now, we did a companion video yesterday looking at pricing for cards from that set in particular. We won't be talking about those cards today, but you will be seeing a lot of ripple effects from the release of that set as we go through today's video. Quickly, before we get started, just a fast reminder, if you check out the description below, you'll find a few ways to support the channel, one of which is our Patreon page. You're also going to find links to products on Amazon, including Ultimate Masters. If you make any purchases, once you go through those links, we'll get a small percentage no matter what you buy. And finally, Flipside Gaming is still offering a promo code for our viewers. And the Playmat promotion is coming to an end, so if you haven't gotten involved in that, the details are below as well. With that being said, thank you not only to the folks that look at those links, but to each and every one of you. You all make the channel what it is. And let's get into today's cards. We'll begin with the top five standard legal cards that have lost value this week. You'll see a lot of cards losing a fair amount of value today. Not a lot of cards gaining value, which you'll notice in a moment. But that's because we're coming to an end of a meta and people are kind of bracing for what's coming with the January set. So let's see what's happening. Number five is Doom Whisper, down $1.23 to $14.97. This card continues to lose value. Great commander card and it actually has performed very well in standard. It's just how many copies do you need is the question. Golgari Midrange is running two or three copies typically of this card, although there are some deck lists that don't run it at all, too. So you do want to keep that in mind when you consider the percentage of play the card's seeing. $14.97 actually still feels a little high. Now, things could change, obviously, as we move into the next meta. Who knows? Everything will be up in the air again. But at least for right now, I do think this will lose some more value. Number four is Resplendent Angel. This goes down $1.25 to 1707 this card's really not seeing a whole lot of play right now. You'll find it in some fringe mid-range decks here or there, but since the Angel strategy has kind of disappeared, this card has lost some value. Number three is Lyra Dawnbringer, down $1.57 to $15.35. Another card that's losing value due to the fact that the Angel's deck has been pretty poor recently when it comes to big results. And ultimately, this card is still seeing a little play, at least in standard, sometimes out of sideboards and control decks. But it's also kind of interesting that it's seeing modern play. Many control builds will run a copy of this in a sideboard here or there. So it's something to watch for the future for sure. Number two, Rekindling Phoenix, down $1.62 to $27.97. Not too surprising that this is losing as much value as it is. It was spiking pretty aggressively over the last couple months. So it was due for some normalization. The card still sees play. Percentage-wise, maybe not as much as it was seeing over the last few weeks. It is an aggro darling, mono red aggro, other aggro variants. Now keep an eye on this one though, because we know Rakdos is coming in the next set, we might see some more aggro builds in the future, and if that's the case, maybe this card starts to ignite again. However, keep in mind, standard players have their copies of this, they're not necessarily going to sell them off and try to buy them back or anything like that. Everyone's just going to hang out at their copies and see what happens, so you might not see any big price changes in this card, even if it does start doing well in the next meta. Number one is Carnage Tyrant, down $1.70 to $30.74. Another card that's been aggressively moving recently, so it was due for some normalization, and that's what you're seeing here. Golgari Midrange, still a very strong deck, and will probably be a strong deck in the next meta, so people aren't going to sell these cards off or anything like that currently. So that's what you're seeing here. Some stabilization, but nothing too dramatic. And aside from that, this card is doing well in Modern, too. As a matter of fact, we've talked in the past how this will show up in Titan Breach decks or Titan Shift decks, sometimes a one about at the sideboard. But just a couple weeks ago at the Star City Games Classic, there was a deck piloted by a friend of the channel, someone who watches our videos, Eli Brooks, who actually was running three copies of this in a Gruel Land Destruction build. Kind of sweet, so we'll have to see if more people pick up on that as time goes on. All right, let's move on to the top five standard legal cards that have gained value this week, coming in at number five. Omniscience from Magic 2019. This goes up 20 cents to 571. So very, very small increase here as most of the cards that we'll see on this list are. However, it's still an indicator of something. You're going to see this more dramatically later in the video, but some of the cards from Ultimate Masters are sparking people to become interested in other cards in the secondary market. This is a small example of that. Emrakul, of course, just got reprinted in Ultimate Masters. 
If I was thinking of putting together a Sneak and Show or Omnitel deck, it just got a little bit cheaper, so I might be more inclined to make a purchase like this. You're going to see a lot of that today. Number four is Vivian Reed. This card has a lot of confidence behind it, going up 24 cents to 24.01 this week. And even though it's got a pretty high price point, I do think it could remain stable for a while. It looked great in this current meta. Golgari midrange deck, Selesnya tokens decks, whether it was coming out of the sideboard or in the main, it always performed well. Now with Ravnica Allegiance coming and Simic Strategies entering the format too, I do think this card could actually get a little bit better. Number three is Arclight Phoenix, up 41 cents to 2781. We know what this card has done in standard. These Is It Drake decks have been phenomenal all season. Although recently you might have noticed that many of those builds aren't even running Phoenix anymore. They're just sticking with the Drakes, which was kind of interesting, but many builds are still. Now, the big spotlight on this card is coming from Modern currently, though. And we've been seeing this in a lot of recent tournaments. Some decks running this card have put up some great results, and these are major, major tournaments, too. For example, you can find this in Is It Phoenix, Mono Red Phoenix, Runaway Drake, Hollow One Phoenix. The card is performing extremely well right now in the format, and if that keeps up, this does have growth potential. Number two, Angrath the Flame Chained, up 52 cents to 723. Now, partially this is going up because of speculation. Of course, Rakdos is entering the environment with Ravnica Allegiance, and this card could actually just get better because of that. As a matter of fact, some of the reason this is going up this week is because of speculation based off a leaked card that emerged earlier in the week. Some people think the spectacle ability that was shown on that card may have something to do with sacrificing a creature. If that's the case, this card will definitely become better. Also, this is a great commander card in Becca Brass and Zancha builds, among others. Number one is Steam Vents from Guild Pack, going up 92 cents to 23.19. Of course, this was reprinted in Guilds of Ravnica, which is why it is standard legal, but this is the copy that was moving the most this week. This has been a big part of modern mana bases for a very long time now. Of course, with the card being reintroduced to standard, there's been more people looking for the card recently to play it in things like Is It Drakes or Just Guy Control. But also, is it colors? Just Guy colors are doing better in modern now, too. Just Guy Control has been doing very well. I just mentioned the Modern Phoenix decks, for example, so there's a lot of high-performing decks right now running this card. Okay, let's move on to the world of Modern, with the top 10 Modern legal cards that have lost value this week. A lot of the cards you're going to see on the list today are actually cards that were reprinted in Ultimate Master, so no big surprise there. But maybe what's a little more surprising to some of you as we go through the next couple lists, you're going to notice that some of the cards are already stabilizing, especially Mythic Rares that see a lot of play. You're already seeing stabilization, and they may have already hit their rock bottom prices, or actually in some cases may have hit them a few days ago. The market has been moving very, very quickly. I'll talk more about that when we get to the ops in a second, but let's see what's here at number 10. Leyline of the Void from Guild Pack goes down $2 to $47.99. This, of course, was not reprinted in Ultimate Masters, but this card has been surging recently, so this is maybe some overdue normalization. Dredge has been very, very good in Modern. Dredge decks will run this card out of the sideboard for mirror matches, and other decks will run this to deal with Dredge. Number 9, Celestial Colonnade from World Weight goes down 205 to 3745. This has been losing value ever since the rare reprint came out in Ultimate Masters, of course, and it's going to stand to lose a little more value. The card is fantastic in Modern Control builds, obviously. But that's not enough to warrant the price tag, considering we have a lot more copies entering the marketplace. This will come down more in the coming weeks. Number eight is Dark Confidant from Ravnica, down $215 to $57. Kind of surprising this is going down, considering the card is performing pretty well right now. Golgari Midrange and Jund are doing great in Modern and Legacy. Golgari Waste, Four Color Loam, you'll find the card there. Even in Vintage and Bug Midrange, this plays a role. So... It's a little strange to see it going down, but you're going to notice other copies are going up, and we have one of those on our other list. Number seven is Engineered Explosives. Modern Masters down 201 to 5142. Fifth Dawn down 216 to 6399. Of course, this has been reprinted as a rare in Ultimate Masters, but this card was soft even before the reprinting was announced. It is interesting to see the difference in price here between these two copies. I do think Fifth Dawn will stand to lose more value quicker. Modern Masters might even stabilize, at least for a short time, pretty soon. So keep an eye on that. But the card does see a lot of play. Sometimes Legacy sideboards, a lot of modern sideboards, and it's a main deck card in Ironworks Combo in Modern, which actually had a pretty good weekend last weekend. Number six, Machaeus the Unhallowed, down $222 to $20.39. This was reprinted in Ultimate Masters as a Mythic. Of course, this is not a card that sees modern play, but it is a very good commander card, so you have a chance to get it a little bit cheaper now. This will come down a few more dollars, I think, in the coming weeks. 
Number five, Through the Breach, down 244 to 2894. This has been a pretty big modern card throughout the years, and this was reprinted in Ultimate Masters as a rare. With the rare reprinting and the fact that it's seeing maybe a little less percentage play than it was seeing in the past, I do think this stands to lose quite a bit more value, perhaps, in the coming weeks and months. Number four is Tarmogoy from Modern Masters 2017. This goes down 269 this week to $60. Overall, Goyfs have just been losing value due to the Ultimate Masters reprint, even if it is at Mythic, just more copies out there have definitely brought the price down. But I do start to see a lot of these Goyfs are stabilizing too. So if you're thinking about picking up Goyf, just shop around. All the prices you're going to see today are average prices, and considering a lot of people have been worried about not being able to get rid of the cards fast enough around the holiday season, you might see some better deals than the prices we talk about today. So take advantage of those, especially on cards like this. You might be able to find a Goyf for perhaps closer to the $50 mark, maybe even less if you shop around, but I don't think that is going to last very long. And then the opposite might happen. If cards start going up dramatically, then you could see people actually listing them at higher prices than average. So make sure you get these when the time is right. This is a great card for Golgari Midrange and Jund, which I already mentioned are some pretty hot decks right now. Also, you'll find this in Four Color Dust Shadow and many Legacy and Vintage builds too. Number three is Karn Liberated. This is the new Phyrexia version, down $281 to $70.30. This has been reprinted as a Mythic and Ultimate Masters. It looks like that Ultimate Masters card has already stabilized, as a matter of fact, if you saw yesterday's video. But this one is going down a little bit more. Of course, this is a Keytron card. Number two, Rune's Halo, down $310 to 1643 This was reprinted as a Rare and Ultimate Masters. Now, this is from Shadow War, and I say it every week, but Shadow War cards, these rares, they get spiky because that set had a lower print run comparatively to other sets during that time period, the modern era of Magic. So this card has had some modern success in the past. Because of that and the limited quantities, it started to get inflated over the years. Now, it doesn't see a lot of play, and you have the reprint, so this card is going to lose more value. Number one, Surgical Extraction from New Phyrexia, now 456 to 35 dollars This card has been spiking pretty aggressively recently, so this is maybe some overdue normalization. This card was not reprinted in Ultimate Masters, and that's part of the reason it was going up, combined with the fact that it is seeing a lot of modern play out of sideboards currently. Okay, there's so much going on with modern right now that not only did I do top 10 for cards that lost value, we're going to do top 10 for cards that gained value, and I have two honorable mentions. The first one is Dark Confidant from Modern Masters 2015, up 94 cents to 56.57. So like I said earlier, I was a little surprised to see the Ravnica one going down, and I'm very surprised to see the price point of this one so close to the Ravnica one. That's very unusual. So I kind of think the Ravnica one will be recovering relatively quickly. But like I said, this card is performing very well in a number of decks currently. And I also think that the Ultimate Master set, I mean, this was not reprinted there, but a lot of cards that are in Jund or in the Golgari Midrange deck in Modern are there. So that could encourage people to build that deck and they'll need to pick up Bobs. Here's the second honorable mention. It's Ether Vial. This is the Modern Masters version going up $1.22 to $38.44. This is in a lot of key decks right now. And I do think because this was reprinted not too long ago in Iconic Masters that a lot of people have kind of forgotten how big this card can get. I would expect it to increase over time. Now, again, this did not get reprinted in Ultimate Masters, and there are cards that are in that set that might encourage you to want to pick this up. For example, maybe I get a Noble High Arc. I'm a little closer now to playing Humans or Banned Spirits. So both of those decks actually use this card. So that's something to keep in mind for sure. Number 10 is Snapcaster Mage. Modern Masters 2017 up $1.08 to $60.86. Innistrad up $1.42 to $62.73. Yep, that's right. Snapcaster are already increasing in value. So this was reprinted as a Mythic Rare in Ultimate Masters. That version is also very stable right now. So I don't see any of the copies losing a whole lot of value. I mean, maybe they'll stabilize a little bit back and forth. But I think for the most part, this one has hit bottom. Number nine is Gut Shot. Modern Masters 2015 up 91 cents to 260. New Phyrexia up $1.98 to 382. Last week, I put this under the popper list for a little variety. I threw it under the modern list this time. But it's actually moving quite a bit, and that's something to pay attention to. It's really moving because of Modern. Sure, this is a cool popper card, inside-out combo, a number of other decks over there will use it. But in Modern, like I've been saying, those Phoenix decks have been very, very exciting. And they all run Gutshot. Number 8, Misty Rainforest from Modern Masters 2017, up 221 to 49.23. That's another thing you're going to see here. A lot of these mana-based cards are going to become very popular now. 
due to the fact that people got a lot of singles out of Ultimate Masters and they're trying to build decks. So this is a key example of that. It's not the only one on the list. Misty Rainforest is found in a number of mana bases, including the very popular Bant Spirit decks right now. Here's another one. Number seven, Verdant Catacombs. Zendikar is going up $1.02 to 5885 Modern Masters 2017 up 244 to 5894 This is another card that's a key part of a lot of big mana bases, including Jund and Golgari Midrange. Number six is Noble Hierarch from Conflux, going up 271 to 6970 Okay, this was reprinted as a rare in Ultimate Masters, and it's already climbing. And the Ultimate Masters copy is stabilized as well as we saw yesterday. So this is pretty much going to be the low point, unfortunately, for this card, I think, for folks that want to pick it up. Now, as packs get open in the coming weeks, it is a rare, so there's a chance it could go down slightly. But I don't think it's going to go down that much if it does at all. And that's a big risk to take, considering it does see playing a lot of big decks right now. Bant Spirits, Humans, Infect, and Legacy, you'll find this in Maverick. Even Vintage will play this in Survival some of the time. Not all those decks play it, but the ones that do will run four, typically. This is a very sought-after card. Number five is another familiar card. It's Surgical Extraction, going up $277 to $38. This is the Modern Masters 2015 version. And as you can see, this one's just going up to kind of normalize with the other copy of the card. That one's going down, this one's going up. They'll meet closer to the middle. Number four, Jace the Mind Sculptor from Eternal Masters. Goes up $287 to $99.99. This card's been pretty hot recently. The Masters 25 and Eternal Masters copies have been going up slowly. This time it's actually a pretty big jump, though. Jace is just a solid card. Modern control builds and, of course, extensive play in Legacy and Vintage. Number three, we get another Fetchland, Scalding Tarn. Zendikar going up $251 to $79. Modern Masters 2017 up $3 to $79.49. A lot of people ask me why we don't see the allied Fetchlands going up on these lists more often. Basically, they are going up, just not as dramatically because they were printed in cons, which of course was a standard set, so there was just more copies out there. Zendikar was a standard set, but it was a long time ago when print runs were much, much lower, and of course, over time, a lot of those cards have disappeared. Modern Masters 2017 was a master set, even though it was a rare there. A lot of copies entered the marketplace, but not as much as you would find in a standard set. So these cards continue to go up, and they won't really stop until they finally get reprinted again somewhere. But this particular one is hot right now because, as I've been mentioning, Izzet Colors have been really strong in modern. Number two, Thing in the Ice, up 374 to 1695. This has become a hot card recently in the world of modern because it has seen play in modern here or there. But recently, what's gotten a lot of people's attention is its role in the Izzet Phoenix deck. Number one, Cavern of Souls. Modern Masters 2017 goes up $1.70 to 6495. Avacyn Restored at 538 to 68 Wow. Okay. So another card that is in Ultimate Masters. Now this one is being reprinted as a Mythic, so there's not as many copies out there. But again, it's just such a popular card, and it definitely appears that it's hit the low point. Especially this one I wouldn't mess around with. Being a Mythic, I don't think you're going to find it cheaper than you'll find it today. Now you might find it cheaper than these prices. Like I said, shop around because there's a lot of good deals right now in these cards. A lot of people panicked. They're trying to undercut each other here or there. So you might find better prices. You'll definitely find a better price if you just want the Ultimate Masters copy. That one is cheaper. But overall, this is a card that sees play in tribal decks. No matter what format you're in, this card is always going to be heavily sought after. Let's move on to our Vintage Spotlight. Something a little different this week. We're not seeing a lot of really old cards here because a lot of folks have turned their attention to Ultimate Masters and some of the more recent copies of cards in the marketplace this week. So you're not seeing the unlimited cards spiking or anything like that like we have been seeing. A lot of the cards we're going to look at today actually see play in Legacy and Vintage for a change. We'll begin with a couple cards that lost value due to Ultimate Masters reprintings. Phyrexian Tower, this sees a little Legacy play here and there, but this is a rare from Urza Saga that has now been reprinted finally as a rare in Ultimate Masters. It's been a long time coming. It's going down this week at $1.92 to thirty-eight seventy-four. Here's another card that sees Legacy and Vintage play. Leobold, Emissary of Trust from Conspiracy Take the Crown. This is going down $210 to $20.03. This has been reprinted in Ultimate Masters as a Mythic, and I do think it will lose at least a little more value before it stabilizes. Okay, let's talk about some cards going up. Mana Drain from Iconic Masters goes up $1 to $57.99 this week. Good card to have if you're a Commander player, or Cube player, or does see Vintage play as well. Sylvan Library from Eternal Masters going up $1.44 to $27.00. A few of these cards from Eternal Masters have gotten hot this week. I don't know if it's just because a lot of people are thinking about these cards due to Ultimate Masters and 
Of course, these are cards that were not reprinted in that set, so maybe that's what it is. But this one is going up. This Destiny Legacy play many times is a one of, but you'll find it in decks like Elgari Waste and Elves, among others. The third Eternal Masters card going up in this video, and it's Force of Will. This is increasing 294 this week to 99.85. Great Legacy and Vintage card, as a matter of fact, and it's now touching the $100 mark. Okay, let's move on to our Commander Spotlight. And there's a lot of interesting things going on this week. Let's just jump right into it. Again, we'll start off with some cards that are losing value due to a reprint in Ultimate Masters. Temporal Manipulation from Portal Second Age is one of them. Down 339 to 7575. Basically, this card will lose more value. It's a cool commander card if you want a redundancy for taking an extra turn. It's a lot like Time Warp, but it doesn't target, so it's a little different. But ultimately, having more copies out there in the environment, even if the new copy is a mythic, it's going to bring the price of this one down quite a bit. Phyrexian Altar from Invasion goes down 419 to 3591. This has been reprinted as a rare in Ultimate Masters, and it was the first reprint, so this one does stand to lose a little more value. Cabal Coffers going up this week. This is one to watch. Torment going up $1.02 to $30.44. Plane Chase going up $1.04 to $38.32. You'll find this in a lot of commander builds when you're trying to make a lot of mana. Erebos decks will play this. Prosh decks. She Rai Shizo's Caretaker was reprinted in Ultimate Masters as an uncommon, and this works well in those builds as well. Sky Diamond from 6th edition, up $1.08 to two fifty nine. Now, this whole cycle has been getting hot. Now, this one in particular goes up a lot this week. All the other versions of Sky Diamond also went up, not as much as this one, but they went up at least a few cents. This is something to pay attention to. I think this whole cycle is going to continue to go up at least slowly over time until they get reprinted. Now, they could be reprinted at any time in a supplemental product, maybe this year's Commander product or something like that. But I do think part of the reason Sky Diamond might be getting hotter right now is because there's a lot of blue decks, or at least decks that play partially blue, that are kind of hot currently in Commander. I'm thinking Niv Mizaparin, even the Locust God. So that could be part of the reason we're seeing this movement right now. But I do think this will continue to go up until eventually the reprint happens. Dream Halls from Stronghold of $1.12 to twenty one eleven. Now this is on the reserve list. Maybe that's why it's moving a little bit. But it's also in some hot decks that I just mentioned. Niv Mizaparin will run this many times. You'll also find this in the Locust God builds. This is another one to keep an eye on. Angus McKenzie from Legends, this is on the reserve list, going up $1.18 to two hundred nine seventeen. This card actually softened up over the last few weeks, but it seems to be recovering now. Really interesting pillow fork card, and of course, pretty hard to find nowadays, especially in good condition. Tempt with Vengeance from Commander 2013 gets a little hot this week, going up $1.78 to ten fifty two. I've seen this card actually in a number of builds in Commander nowadays, and those include Lord Wingrace, Omnith Locus of Rage, Perforos, and Prosh. Gwendolyn de Corsai, up $1.98 to $123.22, another reserveless gold legends card. This one continues to slowly creep up. Archfiend of Despair goes up $201 to $901. This is from Battle Bonds, and this is one of those cards I think a lot of people overlooked initially, but this is great in Xantia builds. Expropriate, going up again, up $229 to $3329 this week. It kind of stabilized down last week, but here it is again, going up pretty significantly. Great commander card in a lot of decks right now. And, of course, the Command Zone talks about it from time to time, which definitely can bring more eyes to the card. Rogar of Kirkeep, here's another one of those Reserveless Legends Gold cards going up 258 to 4299 A lot of people paying attention to the Kabold Tribe right now. Part of the reason this card is getting hot, but generally all these gold cards on the reserve list seem to be going up steadily. Here's another Reserveless Gold card from Legends. Hazan Tamar going up 267 this week to 179.95. Rapid Hybridization jumps up $4.20 to $5.55. This is the Commander 2015 version. The Gate Crash version going up a little bit, but nothing like this. This actually feels like an anomaly in the marketplace to me. If you look at TCG Player right now and look at some of the pricing, there's a few different sellers, but they're putting this card out there at a pretty high price point, and it's jumping the cart. Not really sure why they're doing that, if they think they're going to sell other copies of the card a little more. Or maybe it's just some people putting out some exaggerated listings just to see what will happen. But for the most part, it doesn't feel like it's actually legitimate. So just be careful. If you want this card to play with, grab the Gate Crash version or just find a cheaper version of this copy. You certainly can if you look around. All right, with that being said, that's the Market Watch for this week. And later in the week, I will do another Ultimate Masters update video where we check in on pricing. Of course, next Saturday, we'll do another Market Watch. And there's also a lot more coming up. 
So until next time, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.